Hello guys, today I'll be giving you a little tutorial on how to watch your anime in 60 FPS. So let's get to it. Alright, where is it at? So these are the programs you need. FFD Show, Live Streamer, and SVP. So let's see. Oh, took a little screenshot of it. Uh, start a new window. I'll put the links, the down links in the description. But, um, well, you can always use Google, right? It's always your best friend. So you want to down FFD show, so down the first link right here. Down that. Now you want to also now for that get SVP. Download this. Do not download the core. Download this one right here. This one has many bugs and it's broken. It's highly recommended that you download this too. That's why. Except for that. You want to look up live streamer. Ah, can't type. Ugh. Scroll all the way down. Click on next. Scroll all the way down until you see installer. Click on that. Get down the installer. After you got all that in, um, downloaded, you want to run FFD show. Since I have a Windows 10, I always have to. I call it, install my programs with run as admin. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Next. Okay. Next. Make sure these are selected. Everything you see here. Uh 2.0 stereo. Next. After the uh, before this um screen that says ready to install, you're supposed to get a um this another installation um, window make sure these are selected most importantly make sure raw video is selected so yeah and click on install should I even do it? yeah whatever okay I'll do it again now make sure you check video decoder configuration run it so finish this will pop up only thing you have to worry about is raw video click on that Make sure it says all supported. So if it doesn't, click on it. Go all supported. Okay. Sorry guys, had a summer computer. Okay, you want to install SVP right here. So run as admin. Yes. Next. Accept. Next. Next. You get all this. Make sure this is selected. Register OAV filter. pretty much only this so don't worry about all the other stuff click on next next now here I'm not gonna do this part but um you want to make sure you install ABI synth and FFD show right here these two you can install the MS visual C++ those are optional click on next I'm not gonna do that so it'll install it it'll take it'll take you the installation of the ABI synth I took a picture of it, so here it is. God damn it. Alright, let's check all these stuff. Make sure these are all checked. After that, you're good to go. You're almost there, guys. You're almost there. So have the SVPs installed, go to its location where it's installed. So go to be in your program files. SVP, SVP, here it is. You want to go into MPCHC folder run this exe go to file where is it oh yeah go to view my bad go to options you want to go to external filters oh, internal filters for my bad check everything here and then go to video decoder just copy what I have that's pretty much what you gotta do I'll give you a few minutes just to look at it. <clears throat> Some of you might run into some problems where you can't check this. All you gotta do is change it to an, uh, another kind of decoder. And then you wanna go back to copy back. And then it should be checked too. So, yeah, do all this. Simple, right? 
and you want to external filter at, if you don't see FFD show raw video filter checked just add the filter just find it right here okay so we all good right <laughs> we're almost done here guys you want to run SVP manager you want to go to SVP on your taskbar right click it go to interface type make sure it's an expert then you want to go to video profile. Uh, pick any one of them. So I just picked this one. Copy what I have right here. This is what's good for anime. For movies, other stuff, uh, you could probably crank up. Um, crank up the motion vector grid. What else is there that you got to do? Search radius for average if those are for movies mostly, but just follow this if you just want to use it for anime. Click OK. Quite simple, right? Now here's um, an extra thing. If you stream anime on Crunchyroll, um, this is one way to watch them in 60 FPS. I'm gonna do a little demonstration. Let's go back to the downloads. Um, you want to install live streamer so oops god damn it keep forgetting to run as administrator yeah, there we go next agree blah 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 I'm not gonna bother okay and then you'll uh, they'll tell you to run the live streamer RRC so shit drop one run my app data let's go into app data go in here open this open with notepad all right this is what you want to do scroll all the way down for mpc hc you want to um, navigate it to where it's installed in the svp folder which is Files, SVP, MPCHC, right here. Copy paste the location. Copy, paste right here. Boom. After that, you're good. Then next, the last step. After I got that all set up on Live Streamer, yeah, this is where it gets a bit technical. But I'm pretty sure you guys can handle it. It's not that hard. Let's open up CMD. Command prompt. This is what you want to do. Type in live streamer. Let's go to Crunchyroll right now. So I'm here on Crunchyroll. Pick an episode. So Naruto. Copy and paste that on there. Control V. If you can't control V, right click. And press pace. <clears throat> so once you get that, you want to type in space ultra space dash dash crunchy roll. Doing this slowly, so you guys know what I'm doing. Type in John Smith capitalized J capitalized S space dash dash crunchy roll dash password Mary Jane after that I'm gonna put the dash I mean space not dash 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 player the location of your SVP Get that. Yeah. Can I increase this? No, I can't. Don't let me. Lame. So make sure you have SVP running. So yeah, have SVP running. Then just press enter. And there you go. Yeah, see it pop up. Okay, Joe.
You can't you can't um seek because you're streaming it off of live streamer. So that's that's the bad part about it, but whatever, at least you can enjoy your anime at 60 FPS, right? Pretty cool. Yeah. Naruto. <laughs> there might be some weird particle effects. Let's ignore it. I got used to it already. Sometimes subtitles will like that flicker around whatever but look at that is that so smooth it's awesome well that concludes the tutorial if you want some more clarification on the instructions I'll put them in the description below just take a look at them and I just want to make sure and tell you guys this is an intensive program okay so I highly recommend you have a pretty I want to say strong PC I guess like a mid-tier kind of PC because this uses a lot of CPU. Preferably you want maybe a quad, quad core. Yeah, quad core works really well with this program. So the suitable players for this program is Mia Player Classic, which is the one that um, SVP installs for you. You can use other ones, but they're all shit. <laughs> Sadly, VLC and all this other stuff, they don't support the 60 FPS. But who likes VLC anyways? This also works for download anime. So example, let's let's download something for a demonstration. You know, uh, what's a good site? Kiss anime, right? Uh, um, I may have an account. <laughs> Let me double check. Oh, I don't. <laughs> See, this works though. So, what's what to watch? Let's let's check out. Um, uh, what's what's fast pace, crazy and stuff like that. Uh, let's try Face Day Night. Don't want to show any spoilers, so let's download. Let's see, first episode. Ah, oh, you need an account. Oh, all right, sorry about that. Had to make an account. So let's check out episode zero for Face Day Night on the Playworks. So download anime on the site, you just have to make an account. Simple, it's free. You see this? Right click any one of these formats. So I'm gonna pick the 720 for now. You wanna click save link as. And then no, let's put it let's put it in the download folder. Let's call it works. Zero. Save. Oh wow, it's gonna this might take a while. Um, I'll cut this part too. <laughs> so I'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right. So this is more simpler than live streamer. So yeah, this should be really easy. Uh, make sure SVP's on. All right, let's go back to the MPCHC folder. And I, uh, I'll create a shortcut so it'll be easy for me. I have to go into the SVP NPC folder. Put on the desktop, rename it to NPCHC 60 FPS so you know what it is. And then you want to run that. Go to where uh, your down anime is at, drag it in, and boom, there you go. And enable your SVP. For me, it's Control P. And there you go.
Just compare it. Watch. I'll turn it off right now. Just makes it smoother. So yeah. There you go. Also, I'd like to warn you guys. Don't have anything running too intensive along with SVP. That will really affect your computer. You might freeze, lag, etc, etc, you know. So when doing this, always make sure SVP is running by itself. If you have a strong computer, disregard that. SVP won't be that much of a stress for your computer. If you found this helpful, spread it to others so everyone can enjoy 60fps anime. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I'd like to thank from the bottom of my heart for 2,500 subscribers. I can't believe I haven't gone this far. This was a special video for you guys. Not all of you will know about watching stuff in 60fps or converting all that stuff. Here it is. You can finally enjoy glorious 60fps. <laughs> well guys, thanks for watching and peace.